I have ran into this numerous times in my life, enough times where this actually warrants a video for me to do, to warn you guys about this and what not to do. Um, chainsaws do this. I've never seen this in my life happen to a, a leaf blower, a weed eater, a hedge trimmer, anything like that, because those units right there, this is what I think is going on. Those units right there rev at about 8,000 RPM-ish. Chainsaws run at 12,000, 13,000, 14,000 RPM. I think that's the difference why chainsaws are susceptible to what I call a cold seizure. You know who's really bad for this? Construction guys, framers, time is money. Get her done, get her done. I'm gonna show you why this is happening, why you're gonna destroy your engine, and then uh, we're gonna take the cylinder right off of this chainsaw right here so we can actually see the damage that's done to the piston in there. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to Steve Small Engine Saloon again, guys and girls. That's my website right there, .com. Got a link up here for you in the information button too. I got some other links up there, as well as at the end of this video, I got some clickable thumbnails there for you too, all to get you back to some other videos I've done that you might be interested in. So check those out when you get a chance. Um, hey, I thought I was gonna treat myself right here to some premium stuff, Grolsch, man. Mm, who doesn't like Grolsch? Oh, yum. That's great. What is this and how does it happen? I'm going to start off by telling you guys this. A lot of you guys don't really understand out there that um, the piston, when the piston is going up and down through the cylinder, the piston actually doesn't make contact with the cylinder. The cylinder, uh, the, the, the piston rings actually do make contact with the cylinder and that's why you have compression. Now, we all know that heat expands, cold contracts. So when you start your chainsaw up uh, from stone cold, your piston expands and your cylinder expands. Again, what a lot of people don't realize is that the piston expands way faster than the cylinder. The hottest part of your chainsaw, your piston and cylinder, is right here, it's in between the muffler and your bar and chain or your clutch. It's the corner of that piston right down here. It gets hottest the fastest and expands the fastest. Now, why is that important? Look at this chainsaw right here I got. Guess where I got this from? Yes, you guys recognize this from us. I've done like, oh, I don't know, three videos using this thing pretty much for a prop. <clears throat> I've never taken the cylinder off of this thing yet. We're gonna do it together today. Framer, construction guy had this. I brought it up with him. I looked at, I, I took the muffler off right in front of him and I said, hey, look at that. You pull that piston up and down right there and that piston looks absolutely perfect. It looks like that engine is in great shape, but it had absolutely no compression. When the spark plug was in it, you pull that rope over and it literally just went pa 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 No compression at all, but it looked great through, the, through that exhaust port when you take the muffler off. I asked him about that. I said, would you guys do this? What I'm about to tell you right now. And he looked at me like this and he went, yeah, we do that. What did he do? Here's your problem right here. You take a stone cold chainsaw like this and you fire it up and you just instantly start cutting wood. You pin that throttle down, stone cold chainsaw, and you got her pinned down and you're cutting through wood now. You're cutting framing out of a wall, something like that. Now what's happening? When you do that, the piston is now expanding faster than the cylinder is. That hottest part right there is the first one to go in between the muffler and that clutch right there. The piston is now expanding faster than the, than the cylinder and now that piston is actually making contact with that cylinder. Literally 
starts rubbing on the side of that cylinder right there. You can destroy the piston. Cylinder's off. Let's have a look at this piston. Right there where I said, look at that. Right in between where the muffler would be and the clutch or the bar and chain. You got a big score right there. It's got the, pit, the, the, the ring is stuck in now. And that's why we have no compression on that. There's a score. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a minor cold seizure to be honest with you, but it was enough uh, to have that thing have no compression anymore. It will never run again. I guarantee you that this is a cold seizure, even though it's a minor one. Uh, and he, and like I said, the guy admitted to me, said that's exactly what we do. We fire that chainsaw up. We don't let it warm up for one second. We just fire it up and go. So I think I probably have saved some of you guys some money out there by showing you this. I've seen it numerous times, like I said. So give me that thumbs up button, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Put some comments down right underneath this video. Let me know what you think. Share this video with your friends. And uh, till the next video, guys. Mm, Rolf beer. Steve out. <laughs>